Yeah, so today, uh, earlier today in uh, Boca Raton on the I-95, uh, passing basically where Congress is, some people heard about it, some did not, but in the trucking industry, weird things happen sometimes, and there was a guy, a fellow truck driver, that he hit the median somehow, and then his trailer flipped, and it almost went over the overpass, but they say that there's not a problem with that. The sad part about it is when the tow truck guy came, it was from Emerald Trucking in South Florida. Emerald Trucking is everywhere. If you're getting towed for anything, it was probably an Emerald tr truck driver that did it. And so I I saw in the news that basically the Emerald Truck Towing Company guy came out and he was trying to wrap around, I guess, I don't know, a strap or something so that he could flip the trailer back over. And he missed up and he fell off of the overpass and he passed away today. Um, while I was kind of doing my live video or whatnot earlier today, I saw that uh, there was another Emerald Trucker, so I went and talked to him, and and I, you know, I I told him, you know, I'm sorry for your loss with your friend and what you what have you, and uh, he told me it was a big hit because the guy was a good guy, so, you know, um, all the prayers go out to his family. Uh, I'm just, you know, this business is crazy. You could do any part of trucking. We're all one community. It doesn't matter if you're a tow truck driver doesn't matter if you're a B-class driver. If you're making money by being on the road, you know, you're a truck driver and you're a professional at that. And so I just want to, you know, bring that up and hope that it, his family is going to be okay and uh, basically praying for the best for them. But this business is a scary business, you know. Don't, don't think that you're going to go into truck driving and it's one of those ones where you're just going to go and travel and think nothing's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't have bad luck, I would have no luck. So, you know, I, I try my best to be always positive, but, you know, this is some real talk right here. But that's about it. What up, everybody? So right now I'm going to go back to my truck. I'm going to be going and doing a job on Friday, so I'm going to leave actually Thursday. It's been like five months since I've driven a truck, so I might as well leave a little early, get a little practice in, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I got to move my truck out of the yard because tomorrow I don't want to have to move it and my truck is stuck. Because right now it's been there for the last five months and they've been parking box trucks in front of it and all that. So hopefully I'm able to move it. But I'm getting ready and I'm going to do my first job on Friday, so uh, check me out. I'll see you guys soon. Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm so excited. On Friday, it's my first load. I'm out here in South Florida right now, but I'm going to be in Orlando area. So I know a lot of you guys don't know about the moving business too much. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you moved uh, uh, your dad or your neighbor one time and you think you have moving experience, and uh, I'm here to tell you that you might. <laughs> but basically, I got to move in Orlando. It's a small move. It's uh, about 4,500 pounds. But the thing about it is, I called the customer. They're going to want me to pack some boxes. So I need to make sure that I have those boxes. So I got to go check that out right now. If I don't, I got to go buy them. The cool part is, the place that has materials, where I'm parked, cross the street. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, guys? So I went uh, live just a little bit ago. So for the ones that are just tuning in, I basically, I took my truck out of the yard. It's been sitting there for freaking about five months. And so what I had to do was I wanted to take it out of the yard where I had the truck because they block my truck all the time with little box trucks. And I didn't want to have it a situation because I have to be in Orlando, which is about five, four or five hour drive from South Florida where I'm at. So I have to be there on Friday. So tomorrow's Thursday. So I'm going to start getting going early because uh, if you haven't been in your truck for a while, you know, you're you're gonna be a little nervous and you're gonna need to kinda get all the shakedowns out. So basically, I, I drove around the block a few times and I reparked my truck in front of the warehouse and I'll be ready to go tomorrow. Now, where I'm at exactly right now is I'm at a warehouse where we sell boxes. So if you guys aren't movers or if you guys ever moved yourself, where do you usually go? You go to U-Haul, right? Usually they have boxes or maybe you go to Home Depot or something like that. But for movers, we need major discounts because we do big moves and we do, we do, we we need a lot of boxes. So I just called the customer up. Um, it's a little 
4,000, 4,500 pound load, basically depending on if it's a first story, second or third story, you might need two or three guys sometimes, but because this is a first story house or a one story house, basically I'm gonna hire one guy to help me with this move. We're gonna wrap and we're gonna load the furniture. I called the customer, I let him know I'm gonna be on my way, I'll be there on Friday. I don't know the helper that's gonna help me. So in the moving business, you could use the local agencies and find help, but the thing is sometimes they bring you crappy help. I feel that I've been in the business long enough where I kind of let their dispatcher know, hey, give me a good guy and I'll make sure I take care of him. And especially the, the, the load is their local booking. So if they're the booker on the load, they're gonna want to do a good job and I'm the third party guy coming in, so they want everybody happy. If they have a crappy guy helping me, what? Bre shit breaks and now they're gonna have a really uh, pissed off customer, right? So I'm at the uh, warehouse right now where I'm gonna pick up some boxes. I called the customer and I asked him, hey, besides a one-story house, can I get in easy? Is there anything else I need to know? And he said, yes, there's something that needs to be crated. I have three mattresses and so I have a TV I need boxed. And all this extra things means extra money, but I need the material. So I'm gonna go in right now and grab some material. I need some of those boxes and I need some of those mirror cartons for the TV. So I'll be right back. Showing you guys real quick. I only bought a few pieces, a couple mattress boxes, some TV cartons, and it's $123. So that's just for a small move. So these bigger moves cost me thousands of dollars at times. So I'm just getting you in the right head game. Basically $123 for a little move, plus I gotta pay my guy. So at the end of the week, I'm spending two to three, four thousand dollars just on labor. So that's what it is. That's how the moving business. When you're a mover, you're gonna have to fit all these all this in here in this camry well no i'm gonna just actually uh fold it up and get it in there but that's the thing about being a mover you always have to figure out how to do shit i could have brought my semi truck over here but since i'm in my car why not right so i got you know it's not a lot but you know it's not that bad but it's just one of those things where you just gotta train your mind to let yourself know that you can do it you can see when things don't really fit just improvise and make it work yes it looks a little crazy no I'm just going across the street not a big deal but basically believe in yourself got what I just bought I bought some decal stickers the Asian my show so basically if you guys uh, see this on my tractor or my trailer you know it's me just give me a little honk actually don't honk that's illegal but just give me a little holler I appreciate it Cool.